Howdy gang! Tiger is back again. So soon. We just posted a video, what, two days ago? And here we're making another one. And we're still working on the, uh, the old hauls from last week or whatever. So yeah, what do we have for you? We have some stuff that we did not remember to, put, to show you last time. And besides, you know, it gets too, it gets too long, it gets too much. I know how my attention span works. Anything over 15, 20 minutes, I'm having a hard time with. Uh, I split it up in halves then, or thirds. Watch, watch a little bit and then watch a little bit later again. But some people would just turn it off and not come back. And we don't like that. Cause then YouTube tells us that people didn't watch the whole video. And that's not gonna help us get this whole fame and fortune thing going that we're working on. After all, I mean, Tiger, gotta be, gotta be famous, right? <laughs> no, but seriously, um, I do have a lot more stuff to show you and all this stuff needs to be sold. I'm not gonna go into prices or anything. I'm just gonna show you like before. I know I did the la prices last time, but I didn't get any feedback whether or not that was a, you know, that was appreciated by you all. So let me know what what you like better in those famous comments below. Oh, I love saying that. Comments below. Com oh, let us know. Comments below. The no gotta be in there or it's no fun. Anywho, what did we bring back? We still have some stuff we brought back from Wickenburg last week and we still have, and then I have some stuff I brought back on Friday and then I have some stuff that I don't even know where it came from or when it got here. And then there's some, a couple items from today, but only a couple. Two, yeah, because, yeah, I don't need to buy any more stuff until I sell some. <laughs> so, what do we have? First and foremost, we have this to these totally cool southwestern coasters. Now, they are porcelain, so, or, or the clay, or whatever they're made of. They are dishwasher safe, microwave safe, and they are unfortunately, I don't know if I can get that focused. They were unfortunately made in China, but I didn't know that because when I bought them, they were all, um, they had tape around them and then the price tag was right there on the back where it says made in China. But it doesn't matter because they are totally cool. Now those of us who live in the Southwest, we love this, this kind of stuff. So any one of you who lives in the Southwest, if you like some Southwestern designs in your house, I mean, you can use them as coasters, you can use them as little snack trays, you can use them for olives or condiments, you know. There's all sorts of uses for these things. There's the boots, cowboy boots. Here's the famous saguaro. Those are so cool. I drive by those saguaro fields sometimes, especially on the side when I'm traveling to Tucson or somewhere. Even when I travel north, because there's a whole bunch of north of Phoenix. And I just I just feel like I'm in a in an old western movie. Cause those things we grew up with when we were kids, we watched those those, those old movies, Jimmy Stewart, John Wayne, and we saw those cacti. And we didn't even know what they were called. We were living somewhere in a walled in city. By a big old brick wall and a death strip and people with guns. And then we got to see those, those, those wide open spaces. That's ultimately the one of the reasons why I moved here, cause it was just amazing, very amazing to see this actually. And after what twenty some years in in Arizona, I still feel like it. I still have this whole wow moment when I drive by those. Well, anyways. We were doing a haul video, not a story time video. Maybe we should do a story time another time. We also have some Mexican vase, which is really cool. Now, I don't know if it's considered a tonala, but it is marked Mexico and is, is initialed. I just gotta do some research. I have not done any research on any of these items, but it is totally cool. I mean, it is beautiful. I have a plate. I think I already had that in a haul video that looks similar with the colors and the materials that would probably go together. Maybe I should bundle it. 
And I have a totally useless piece of egg, which I don't even know what it's made of. It feels like porcelain though. And it looks like someone hand painted on this before they, before they, uh, whatever, they, they did it. It says from one good egg to another. On the back it says Elmer Merchard, President St. Louis, BE something X, 1976 to 1977. So apparently that's some, I don't know, so, I, you know, I was going to bring up a piece of paper to hold behind us to help with the focus. And of course I totally forgot that, but I do have this tablecloth. I wonder if that'll work. So this is totally cool. I have no clue what it is and it's probably not worth anything just for the, for the wow or the Let's find out more about these people, about this egg. Who is this this guy? Who is, what's this, this organization? What did they do? And it is definitely vintage, 1976. So I like it. I hope you like it too. I know I'm going to let that go fairly cheap since it's nothing major, but it's cool. It has the cool factor. Then this piece has the beauty factor. Look at that. That's a little small dish. I don't know if it's considered a relish tray, something like that. And it is signed Fine China exclusively for Ben Richard, Richard something, made in Japan. Now again, I don't know who this Ben guy is, what company they, they are. You may know. Please feel free to let me know. I appreciate it. Another piece I have that is nothing major, but I just really like it. The Walt Disney World plate. It is just really cool and it looks vintage. Now, I don't know if it is vintage, but it definitely made to look like vintage. And I, again, I have not, I have not researched it. It is copyright Disney right there on the side. And I do not see anything on the back. So I don't know where it comes from. Again, I have to look it up, but it's cool. I like it. It looks cool. It has the, the you know, it has those symbols from those attractions on there. And it's just really nice plate. It's oval. You can use it for small snacks. I would use it in my household because it does not look like it's valuable enough to where it needs to be put away in a, in a vault somewhere where nobody can destroy it. But it's just one of those cool, everyday pieces that you can use every day, you can enjoy every day. I like those. Then we got a couple more plates and these are a set. The birdies. Birdie, birdie, birdie. <laughs> Look at that. Birdie plates. I really like those. Those are cardinals. Everybody loves cardinals. And there are those. I can actually like this better. I used to be able to talk. Let's try it again. I actually like this picture better. I like the drawings better and I like the color better. These are both made in Japan. They have stickers on the back. So these are really cool. I know we were. There are people out there. Niche lady who don't like to ship plates and I think about that every time I buy a plate. But then I'm thinking, you know, those plates are so beautiful. I want to buy them and I want to sell them and I want to make someone happy with them. Hopefully they get there all in one piece. Unless I ship two, then they need to get there in two pieces. So we'll see. I did ship plates before and it now knock on wood. It, it was not a problem. I had positive feedback on eBay. And then I found this totally cool and interesting looking teapot. Now of course the lid again is missing. A lot of times these things do not have their lids. But this piece is just so cool. 
And I'm, I don't know, I'm, if I can sell it, I may, I may just use it or display it in my household. Because it is just, I love this piece. It's triangle, well, it's got, no, it's square, kind of square, square looking. I don't know why I always make a triangle. It's square looking. It's not marked of anything. But just the way it's shaped and the color, that little bit red on there and the speckles, it's just really a cool piece. Unfortunately, the lid is gone. If I ever find another one, or maybe I can find a lid without it somewhere online. Then, I don't know why I picked that up, the uh, pink Washington DC bell. Uh, nice old, well, not old, but nice vintage souvenir piece from Washington DC that was sold by the Marriott Hotel. Still has the original price tag in there from Marriott. It's nothing special, but I think it's pretty cool. It looks pretty cool, right? Right? You agree? I hope so. And if not, I won't hold it against you, I promise. I'm easy going. So, yeah, it's cool. I like, I, I, for some reason I'm on a souvenir trip right now. I keep buying souvenir pieces. I don't know why, I don't. But they're cool. Especially the older ones, it's like you think about it, you know? You know, what, what was traveling like back when the, those were sold? Who bought these things? Who are these people? You know, where were they from? And so on. And then I found another, this time a, in one piece, uh, uh, with, without chips, little Tonala ducky. Looks like a little, like a little, little rubber ducky you take in the, into the bathtub, like Ernie. Sesame Street Ernie. Rubber ducky. Rubber ducky. I know there was a song, I don't remember the song, but it was cool. Except that rubber ducky, ducky was yellow. This one is totally cool. It's got paints on it. It's got colors on it. It's blue. I like blue. If it's not purple, blue is cool. I don't know why I'm holding my head up like that. I'm an idiot. So either way, no, I'm not. I'm joking. So either way, look at this piece. And look at the colors and the paint, the painting, the, the detail. It's really cool. And it's marked somewhere. Here it's marked. It's a really nice piece. So yeah, I really like this. I like this piece. It's It seems to be fine. I mean, there are a couple of spots that looks like they're just missing the paint, but it does not feel like anything is missing. It feels like it's just a production error. <coughs> error. And then I picked up this thing. This one, I have no idea why. It is definitely nothing that's, that's worth anything. It just looks cool. It's another one of those items that pick up, I pick up for the cool factor. I should be called the cool merchant or the cool, cool dealer. I deal in cool. Because it's not valuable, it's not anything special, it's not marked even. But I just like it. It just looks so cool. And what does it say? It is, I think, I, I used to know that, but didn't I have a... Well, I don't know where my magnifier is now. Something mill. I think it was some old mill in the, in the picture. I really like that piece. And then I picked up, I don't know if this is considered a flower, flower frog. Flower frog. Because it's got no holes, but it's got those little pointy things. So where you can stick flowers in. And it is, it is, um, um, what is it, pottery. And it's really nice with that leaf that's, that's put on there. It's indented and painted and it's signed. Now again, I have not researched any of these items, so I don't know who this person is who signed it. I can't even read the signature, but uh, it's just a cool piece. And it was not cheap. I got this from the, uh, the uh, White Dove Thrift, which is not a cheap store, but they have some real nice items. And it's just, I love, I fell in love with that leaf. It kind of reminded me of the uh, New Zealand leaf. And I love New Zealand. Then I've got another Mexican piece. Now the quality of this one is not the best. There are some spots that are kind of darkish 
and it feels like they're actually in in the paint in the paint again like it was made that way and it's a fairly small piece I don't know if it could be used as a toothpick holder or as a shot glass either way it's still a nice piece and it is and it is signed cat Mexico and I know cat stuff does sell for good money well I can't get that done right now but yeah it says cat Mexico I've seen her around her stuff around eBay it's 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 nice stuff then there is the Paris souvenir <laughs> that's a little is that supposed to be a teapot or a coffee pot I think a teapot it uh, looks like it's shaped like a teapot and then let's go ahead and pull up that again I need to set up like a so it says Paris there's the Eiffel Tower there's the Arc de Triomphe. Now that's better. And it opens. And it's clean inside. It's really nice. I like that little thing. Again, it's not signed. So nothing nothing major. Nothing super valuable. It's just one of these cute little things. Then I got this little this little crystal. Uh, what's it called? Candy dish. Now this is totally cool. And if you can tell, there is three uh, little. What's it called? Oops. There's a little flea bite. I just noticed. But you can hardly see it. It's just a really cool piece. Again, it is a beautiful, beautiful candy dish. And other than that little flea bite, I just found. I have not found anything and I did check it. It's a beautiful piece. It's small, but you know, size does not matter. And then I've got another plate which I picked up at Gucciville. That is one of those fused glass pieces. Unfortunately, it's more pink than purple. If it was total purple, I wouldn't even give it up. This is dark pink and it's got those silver designs. I have a friend actually here in Phoenix who makes this kind of stuff. I bought some of her pieces before. She's really good at it. She has her kiln and she knows how to do all that. <laughs> Maybe one of it was one of her pieces, you never know. <laughs> but no, that is just an awesome piece. That's a art artistic piece. I don't know why it ended up at at the third store before they had a price tag of forty dollars on it which is probably about what I would I would do for it ask for it and then there is another little candy dish it's green it is just a beautiful green candy dish it's got this little teardrop little handle and look at it it is just really cool and it's got the sturdy foot so you can use it without having to worry about it toppling over it's a really cool piece this I really I really love even though I don't like green it's not my color which makes it uh, easier for me not to hang on to it but I love the shape it's just a beautiful piece just a beautiful piece and there's another crystal piece which I believe that's Bohemian. That's from Czechoslovakia or Czech Republic. But I think that's older. It is just I actually I had it researched and I forgot what I forgot what it was, but it's it's just such beautiful piece with such beautiful designs. And then the little indents there on top. It does not have a lid. But it doesn't need a lid. It's just a beautiful piece. And how many times can I say beautiful in one video? Huh? I think I've got everything. Actually, there was this piece that I missed last time. There is the, uh, or did I show that? No, I don't think I did. I did show some of these Seattle uh, cups and saucers that I had. But this one is the Seattle World's Fair 1962 saucer. Um, uh, unfortunately, it doesn't have a cup with it. It should have a cup with it, but the cup is missing. 
but it's 1962. It's 59 years old. It's amazing. It was a great year too, 62. I mean, without 1962, I wouldn't be here now. So yeah, 62 is a good year. And the World's Fair was in Seattle in 62. So then there is the San Francisco Souvenir Cup. And that one's missing the saucer. So I'm going, <laughs> I'm going to pretend San Francisco and Seattle are the same. <laughs> so we're going to put the San Francisco cup on the Seattle saucer. Yeah, no, I think I'm going to get in trouble with lots of people if I do that, right? You're all going to come knock on my door. Oh dear. Yeah. Now that's only, only design on one side. It's the Golden Gate Bridge, of course. And it is made in England. There is the, ah, yeah, let's see, I should set up a, there we go. So, that was that. So that's probably good for now. I know I have more, well I have some more pictures, but my camera's going to turn off here in a minute. I have some pictures that I meant to show you. But you know what? I'll do that in the next in the next video. Like the like the beautiful landscape in the winter. And the totally cool goofy goofy goofies. Tiger loves goofies. <laughs> yeah, those are all the flock of geese. Somewhere on their way from from Canada to the States in the winter time or in the summertime or whenever wherever they they migrate. But they're just it's it looks like it's it's a home it's an actual handmade piece. But I don't think it is. I don't see a signature and there's like a little blue strip I can see on top. So it's a chance that someone just cut out somewhere. But it is professionally framed. So it was framed by O'Brien's, Pat O'Brien's in Scottsdale, Arizona. It's a nice frame too. If nothing else, the frame is worth some money. But that was it for now. It's been a long day for me already. And I'm a little sore and a little tired, so I'm gonna go and have me a nice cup of coffee. Out of my nice, nice fancy coffee maker. And then I'm gonna upload this video for you so you all can have some fun looking at some more treasures that you're probably gonna go oh, what did tiger get that for why does tiger want this piece <laughs> but hey you know what i kind of like my loot that's why i have what that's why i picked it up otherwise i would have picked it up y'all know the deal y'all keep it real Boom!